What was that? So I'm gonna be working on the rocket card again, so there should be more updates to come in the future, at least hopefully. For the people that haven't seen it, let me give you a quick rundown on everything. So this is a rocket car powered by solid rocket motors. And the goal of this thing is to be the fastest zero to 60 that we can be. I don't know what the record is for go-karts, but who knows, maybe we'll get close to it. Uh, why we're going zero to 60 is because it seems to be safer that way. If we're going to the triple digits, that's a lot more kinetic energy, a lot more risk involved. Anyways, let's move on to the back. Let's go over things. Powering these bad boy, we got a five foot rocky motor and there'll be five of them here in these banks, this bank of five. This is three inch diameter DOM tubing. We just got some, a nozzle, milled that of 1018 steel on the lathe over there. And in the front, we got aluminum bulkhead with a pressure transducer and a gauge just so we know what's going on and we don't turn this thing into a pipe bomb. But we got some other safety measures for that. For the fuel, now we got a standard, basically sugar fuel. This is sorbitol and potassium nitrate. I got in this container here because it's humid and this stuff, man, does it like to absorb water. So it's safe with a desiccant in there. Onto the actual cart. It is a go-kart, you know, so we want to keep the go-kart tires. Beautiful Hoosier uh, kart tires. I believe this is an inch and a quarter axle. Chromoly, single brake in the back. I might upgrade that to something a little bigger, like a motorcycle brake. But moving on, this is the truss, basically all the motors will push against. And this is the roll cage where the guy will sit. So you may be asking, why square tubing? Because I know, you know, there's a lot of disadvantages in square tubing and this kind of stuff. Well, for me, I don't have a tubing bender and I was learning on cheap at the time, so it was easy to design for all the loads as well as just like the basic outline of everything. And it's just easy to work with, you know, you cut it with some 90s and 45s, bam, 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 you got yourself a frame. So it's easy to iterate on. Anyways, moving on, we got the Kirky Aluna seat, and then we got the power steering module. This is from a 2002 Saturn View. I'm gonna make this thing remote control to start, just so we can iron out all the technical difficulties and kinks of the thing. I wasn't gonna do this, but I put the a small motor onto an RC car and it launched itself many hundreds feet into the woods. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's lit. Shit. My shit. Then it got me thinking, yeah, I should make this remote control before I stick, you know, human flesh, AKA my body in there. So that's what's going on. We bypassed the motor, con like the control unit. We got a potentiometer on here on the shaft just to give position feedback. And then the motor itself is running directly to an 100 amp dual motor controller. 100 amp we need because uh, this thing's actually quite thirsty. It's like pulling 40 amps at full tilt at 12 volts. So, so the other channel is going to the brakes. And that the brakes are gonna be powered by this linear actuator here. 34 pounds of dynamic load and then 450 pounds of static load. Anyways, the brakes coming up here. Got this extension for the linear actuator. It'll be pushing on this master cylinder. And these are just from those generic 250cc ATV brake kits. It's like a dual master cylinder. One's going to the front, one's going to the rear. And then we got some custom hubs going to the front brakes here because front brakes are kind of hard to get on go-karts, at least in uh, this sizing, if unless you want to go to more of the actual shifter cart kind of things. But granted, we got the lathes, so might as well make them up. The steering itself, just direct linkage, simple. You know, we are a go-kart, so we want to retain that identity. And then we got some 3D printed, basically steering blocks here to support everything. Pretty strong just in PLA, but I'll probably shift this up to a tougher material when we actually you know, go for testing. But so far, no issues, no cracking, no nothing. I think that's about it. Uh, I'll be posting more updates, and if you got any suggestions, please let me know.